Why do you seem so scared? Christine, welcome to Paranormal TV. If you're new, and welcome back if you're not. So today, I wanted to talk about the graveyard vlog I did at the very end of February. I wanted to really sit down and talk to you guys about the things I was experiencing and feeling in the graveyard. So, I did a graveyard vlog before in this exact graveyard. And I felt nothing. It was a very busy day in the park that is right before the graveyard. Like literally you walk up a hill from the park and you're in the graveyard. There were a lot of kids there. There was a lot of people there and I don't know if that could have been why I didn't experience anything then. I did not feel weird. I did not feel anything out of the norm. I didn't see anything out of the norm. Lacey didn't act too weird. She tried to pull me towards the children because she loves little kids. Like you would not believe. So she was trying to pull me to the kids but that was it and when I would walk away from the kids she walked pretty well in my opinion. So it was a pretty normal day i went back and did a second graveyard vlog and i was i was going to talk a little bit more about the graveyard a little bit more about the history because it's in it is a historic graveyard and i i was going to just try to take in the graveyard a little bit more and talk about it a little bit more if you guys maybe find some civil rights leaders or something like that but i kind of got distracted pretty quickly because I started to hear walking sounds and I was really hoping I would pick them up on camera and unfortunately I didn't pick them up on camera because they were I guess I guess they were just too faint but they sounded like walking and you know when you're outside noises can be hard to understand and confusing but in that video you could hear me walking and that's exactly what it sounded like it sounded like two sets of footsteps walking together like there were two people walking together and it wasn't Lacey because you know dog footsteps sound so much different than human footsteps and it did not sound like a dog footstep it sounded like a human's footsteps and I heard it two or three times something like that so after that I actually caught a few voices on my camera and one I heard um, in editing and I was like, oh, that's strange, but I'm just going to put it up. And if I listen, I'm going to listen to it a little bit more. I'm going to listen to my earphones, kind of bump the volume up a little bit more and try to tell if it is an EVP. And if it is, I'll put it in an evidence vault. Well, I actually caught two things that I put in an evidence vault. And I will throw my evidence vault up in the cards for you guys. That's all my recent evidence that I caught over the couple past couple of months. There's stuff from the Jenny Wade investigation I did, or stuff from the religious trigger object investigation I did, and things like that. So the first voice can be heard at 4.41 if you go back to the graveyard vlog. So I was saying this is a historical graveyard, and I heard a voice go, yes, like whisper, yes. Which is funny because it's like they were agreeing like yes this is a this is a historical graveyard and it is it is the oldest african-american graveyard in the u.s so in this graveyard there's a lot of notable people a lot of notable people in this graveyard you know people are still being buried in the graveyard today there's some celebrities or people who were in the armed forces so it is a historical graveyard with a lot of notable people and a lot of history in the graveyard and if you watched the first graveyard vlog I did I added a lot of facts in to the graveyard you couldn't even hear me speaking so I had to like mute it and then add the facts in because of what I had said to you guys in the video wasn't even understandable you could understand anything I mean half of the video you could understand me but when the wind would pick up it would be like what so I was just like you know what we're gonna add the facts in so there are facts in the first one the second one is where I caught the possible paranormal evidence the next voice is at 451 and I believe this is when I started to hear some footsteps and I stopped and I said I swear I heard some footsteps over here and it says hi 
again, another whisper. It sounds like a male to me. And it's almost like they were walking with me. And when I acknowledged that I heard them, they said hello to me. I don't know. Like, that's what I think. I think that's pretty cool. I've, you know, I might be reading too much into it. They might just be like, hey, how you doing? And not been walking with me. But that's what I heard. That's what I felt. I didn't feel like I was alone in that graveyard. As we were going, Lacey was acting strange. And Lacey is a wimp. And I want to note that Lacey is a complete wimp. Complete wimp. So I can't sit there and say whenever Lacey acts strange, it's for sure paranormal. But I can say if Lacey acts strange and I have an experience, then I'm more inclined to think that Lacey is acting strange because she's experiencing some, she's experiencing something as well. And Lacey was acting weird. She was kind of upset. She was pulling. She was just not very comfortable in the graveyard at certain parts. Which is, I want to say that's a little strange because I didn't feel like anything was threatening at all, honestly. I felt like whatever was there with me was a good presence. I didn't feel anything threatening. Lacey is afraid of everyone that she doesn't know, so whether you're a good person or you're a terrible person, Lacey just thinks you're a terrible person, she's afraid of you. You know, we trucked on Lacey and I, we wanted to go a little further, so this video would be kind of a substantial video for you guys. I didn't want it to be a five minute quick video. So, you know, as we moved on, there was this weird noise that I did not hear at all. I did not hear it, and it's so loud. I'm actually going to insert the clip because I can't describe the noise to you. So you're just going to see the clip for this one. This was bizarre. So here is the clip. That could be an animal. That could very well be an animal, but I don't know what it was. I didn't hear it. Lacey didn't hear it. We did not react to that noise, but I caught it on my camera, and... It was strange sounding. I really, I don't know what that was. And then shortly after that noise that I didn't hear in real time, I thought I saw a person behind the tree and I'm like walking up and I'm filming closer to that direction. I'm like, is that person there that I'm about to film? Somebody in the distance I'm about to film. And I was like, well, I don't know if that is a person. And I kept looking, I'm like, no. No, there's no one there. So I quickly realized that there wasn't anyone there and I was like, I thought I saw someone. I think this happened to me twice and the first time it happened to me, I actually didn't say anything because I thought it was my eyes playing tricks on me because I, I was looking at my camera so I thought, oh, I misinterpreted something in the distance of my camera so I just didn't even say anything. I was pretty sure it wasn't paranormal. The second time I was not looking through my camera I was actually looking in the distance not in my camera screen you know I hope you get what I'm saying here and I I swear I saw something with my eyes and there was nothing there so I forgot to mention something and I noticed this in editing I forgot to talk about the weird wind thing I call on my camera now or on my phone rather because I was recording on my phone just a quick video for my paranormal Instagram and I was talking in it, and to me it sounded like wind at first. The more I listened to it, the more it sounded like static. So I started to like look at my hair, because I had my hair, well it was like French braided here, and then it was in these like pigtails here, so this part was down. So I had my hair like that, and this part was down and loose, and it wasn't blowing, and I have flyways on the top of my head, as you can see. And they were staying rather still. They were not moving either. So I found that to be really odd because the noise was so strong. So if it was wind, it would be very strong wind. Strong enough that my hair would blow. And I had actually waited for the wind to stop before I actually filmed. Because there was a little bit of wind that day. There wasn't a lot. And I wanted to make sure you could hear me. Because I do have a lower voice. And I have to yell I feel like when I'm doing videos even though I am not yelling to most people like they wouldn't consider it yelling it's just I have a little voice so I waited for the wind to stop and it wasn't bad wind it was just a little bit and I waited for it to stop and I continued speaking when it stopped or at least I thought it stopped but like I said my hair was not moving the flyways weren't moving this was not moving it didn't seem like wind but it felt like static and my my camera on my phone is a decent camera 
it doesn't pick up static. I mean, if you watched any of my videos I put on Instagram of like Lacey chasing her tail or whatever, you will know. You know, it doesn't pick up static. So that is everything that happened on that graveyard vlog. It was really interesting. I suggest watching it. And if you don't want to watch the whole vlog, you can just watch the evidence. Well, I put the evidence in there, but I thought it was really interesting. And maybe I can go back again when the weather starts to get a little bit better and I can, you know, see if I feel anything again because it was very interesting going there and feeling something when I felt nothing the first time. And I didn't feel uncomfortable. I didn't feel like it was bad. So that's also comforting to me. Like I feel like I can enter that graveyard again and not be worried that something is going to happen to me because I don't feel like it was bad at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did watch that graveyard vlog or watch the Evidence Vault video, let me know what you think of what I caught you believe it was paranormal because I definitely am convinced you know sometimes I'm a lot harder to convince but just experiencing it and hearing those clips and knowing I was alone in the graveyard and there was no one in the park I am sold on the fact that that was something paranormal and I also want to note that those voices were close to my camera so you know if somebody was that close to my mic on my camera I would notice I would 100% notice be like Hey dude, why are you whispering in my camera? And I'd probably run away. Probably would run away because I'd be scared. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.